What's it mean? Dreams don't mean anything, Dolores. That answer doesn't seem to satisfy you. I would expect the unexpected, season two. I'm on the show and I was blown away by everything they were doing. I think we're exploring things that I've never seen on a television show before. Definitely New Frontiers, more than one world. Um, and I think uh, a lot of the characters that we grew to know in the first season, we're gonna be seeing those personas sort of shatter and, and seeing them create their new selves, and I think we'll, we'll sort of be getting to know them all over again. We've ridden 10 miles and all we've seen is blood. Is this really what you want? The first season we dedicated to setting these characters up and setting up what this world was for, for, uh, you know, for an audience that didn't, wasn't necessarily familiar with the original movie. And uh, now that we've established the, uh, you know, the universe or the world or whatever you want to call it and the characters, we can now sort of, uh, and we can take the leashes off, I guess, and kind of turn them loose. Um, they've all reached their sort of level of sentience or awakening, and, and they've done it against the backdrop of complete chaos and mayhem, and we'll see where all that takes them. She's something we programmed. She's not real. You're going to take me to my daughter. It's, it's so frustrating not being able to talk about it, but at the same time, I think it's really good not to overkill with what you know, because then it's much more of a, that surprise is, is part of what makes, what, what makes it so delicious. You know, it's, it, it's, it's worth the wait. It builds the, the anticipation builds the gratification at the end. I know exactly what is out there. I think because it's such a classic uh, template, and it, there's these classic characters, there's the, the, the hero and the villain and the damsel and the harlot and the this and the that, but we're, we're turning that upside down and, um, and tackling it in a way that's, that's new, and it's, I think it's making people ask questions, not just about the show, but about themselves, about their own reality, um, about their programming. Um, but it's being presented in a way like a fairy tale is, you know, fairy tales are stories, but with deeper truths and with um, they're sort of cautionary tales. And so I look at this as sort of a sci-fi fairy tale um, with subliminal messages sprinkled in throughout. Why on earth would you ever be frightened of me?